Please welcome our next contestant, Rebecca Bandelidu, The Beauty Within You. The Beauty Within You, Rebecca Bandelidu. Honorable judges, esteemed guests, and fellow Toastmasters. For most of us, the expression, you are your worst enemy, holds a lot of truth. I vividly remember a night I went out with my friends, and one of them had the nerve to ask me why I wasn't wearing makeup, and that with makeup, I look way better. Her comments hurt me and made me question how I look. Safe to say, after that day, I never went out without makeup. Insecurities can happen to anyone. When you're ashamed of your personality and hate how your face and body look, Something deeply changes inside you. You are locked in a lonely maze, which is hard and almost impossible to find the way out of. For a while, I hated myself because I thought I wasn't good enough to be in this world. I wished I could have been someone else and because of this, I lost some great opportunities in my life. Most of them were social interactions, like going out with friends and family. It was such a steep change and very shocking for my family to see me this way. Suddenly I have changed from an outgoing social individual to someone who I was moody and negative. I used to love the way my t as my teachers smiled as they handed me my excellent grades. However, I hated the fact of my classmates and friends calling me a nerd. For what? Because I tried to be a good student, because I was doing what every student had to do, and because of this, I also lost some really good friends. I thought by hanging out with people that not only had a bad character to my classmates, but also to me, that will make me one of the cool kids. And I'm sure we all hang out with certain people to make us feel better, but ended up feeling worse about ourselves. Not only did this experience change my personality, but it also changed my outer appearance. I stopped wearing my hair in a ponytail as I didn't want my ugly ears to be shown. I stopped wearing the clothes I always loved to, and I started to wear makeup, which I hated, but at least this friends will be able to tolerate my face then. Was I okay seeing myself this way? Was I feeling better being in front of others? Was it the real me? And was it the way I wanted to present myself to the others? No, not at all. So why was I doing this? Every day after school or going out, I always loved the thought of going back home, taking off my uncomfortable clothes and shoes, washing off my makeup, and feeling like the real me. Eventually, I realized that the true beauty isn't the clothes or the makeup you apply. True beauty is a realization and the attitude that you are you no matter what other people say and do. This took time 
and patience for me to realize, which is why I want you to not spend as much time as I did to realize and understand that each of us is special, despite what others might say. Is this what society wants to dictate that all ladies have to wear red lipstick, paint their nails, have their hair done at all times, to wear uncomfortable clothes and shoes to look beautiful around people, to look beautiful around men? What about the cart of a woman and the respect of wearing whatever she likes to? If this is right, then I don't know what the women of the past and the present are fighting for. Feel free, feel proud to express you with whatever you feel. And as wise American author Dr. Sue said, today you are you, which is truer than you. No one alive is your than you. Thank you.